Hang out there. I was going to say happy hump day because it's Wednesday, but I'm not going there. That's like that whole TGIF thing, like thank God it's Friday. What does that mean? That means that the week, Monday through Friday, stinks and the weekends are bliss. And then once Monday rolls around again, oh God. So even if you feel that way, I don't like to say it. I think it just brings that negativity into my life. So ever, anyway, happy Wednesday. I'm over here at the Kingsburg house. Just got done cleaning it up a little bit. It was, had the vacuum and stuff. I got the inspection, the final, final inspection today between four and six. Last couple days were spent uh, scraping, caulking, painting these windows. 15 windows, all with the grates. And they're the old wooden ones. So, I mean, they all work fine. I, uh, I saved quite a bit of money not putting new windows in. But when the inspector came out the last time, he looked at some of them and they were, uh, they were chipping and he said something about the lead paint thing. So I had to get on. So anyway, make a long story short, just 15 windows. My friend Edwin, who's also the plumbing extraordinaire, he came out, he did a lot of the labor as far as scraping the windows. And he did it nice where he was scraping and sanding and using the vacuum at the same time. So it was a least amount of mess. Then I kind of get in a time crunch because they took longer than I thought. Uh, my friend Dave, who's a contractor, shout out Dave. He came over yesterday in between jobs and uh, he did a bunch of the windows too. I couldn't have did it without those guys. So shout out Edwin and Dave. It's funny, yesterday Dave was over here working and I was over here working. And when I'm working with someone, whether they're working for me or I'm working with them or I'm working for them, I always work harder. I don't know what happens. I don't think it's like I'm in competition, like I'm trying to impress them, but I think my mentality is, if somebody's working and I'm in their vicinity, I gotta work my butt off. <laughs> I think that comes from my parents and work ethics. So I worked my butt off yesterday, I kicked butt on a bunch of the windows and, and Dave was working and you know, every once in a while we'd, we'd be next to one another and we got the BS in a while. It was just a nice day and worked my butt off. That makes me think of something. Remember about four months ago, I made a couple of videos about trying to get the tenants out of the house in Union Beach. Then I sold the house in Union Beach just two weeks ago, I think. It all worked out fine for me. I got more money than if I would have sold it before or after this hot streak with the market. So it worked out fine for me. But I still see that tenant every once in a while. And I said to Diane last night, I said, yeah, I still see so-and-so. And... -so. and it doesn't, does it make me feel uncomfortable? In the beginning when I saw him, <laughs> I see him like once a week or so. It used to make me feel a little uncomfortable and then I said, I'm not feeling uncomfortable. I didn't do anything wrong. This guy left uh, so much crap over there, two 20 yard dumpsters, a crack pipe, vials of Narcan just in case he overdosed. So I guess that's good to conscientious, uh, you know, drug user. Before he left, he told me he wasn't going to be paying me rent, and he didn't pay me rent. <laughs> then I, uh, I gave him his whole deposit back so he can get into a new place with the condition of the house that he left it. I spent, um, I don't know, probably six, $7,000 in order to get into, uh, into shape so I could sell it. So <laughs> am I resentful? If I didn't sell it for more money than I would have thought I could have got for the house, then I'd probably have a lot of resentment. I don't have that much resentment. Matter of fact, I don't think I even do. Him, on the other hand, so I'm, I was starting to tell you, so I'm sitting there last night talking to Diana, I'm saying, I don't feel uncomfortable about that. He must feel uncomfortable. He must feel some kind of guilt or shame when he sees me. I saw him in a local store and he said, hey, I run into you all the time. Because I, I say hello. I don't wish him any harm. And you know what Diana said? I just like that spit. That was a special effect. Diana said, I don't think he feels anything. What do you mean? She said, I don't think he cares about anything except for himself. And I thought about it. I can relate to that. Many years ago, I was stuck in self, so self-centered, so selfish. Like, if that's a disease in itself, I had it. it. Took a long time to get out of it. So I feel for this guy. I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> Hang on there. So I just told you about when, when I'm working with someone and even specifically like yesterday when I was working with Dave, I worked harder. 
Well, today I'm driving around in Kingsburg. I'm killing some time because I got to keep myself busy so I don't get too anxious about the inspection tonight. So I'm, I'm taking a ride, plus I'm going over here to work, and I'm taking a ride. Well, while I'm riding around, I see the tenant again. He's got a landscaping business. So I saw his truck, his beat up truck, in front of this like apartment complex. And I saw two day laborers. If you're not from New Jersey, day laborers are just that. They'll work for the day for you. They usually hang around at a convenience store or a train station or something like that. And I'm not gonna like sing their praises like, oh, they're the best. However, when I've used day laborers, they work their butt off. They usually charge about $200, $250 a day, and they are worth every penny. They work their butts off. They don't complain. They work. They're friendly. They're happy to be around. Holy cow, I love these day laborers. Anyway, I keep on going back. So as I drive by the apartment complex with the old tenant, crack pipe, about $7,000 worth of work to get the house into a condition where I could sell it. Two 20-yard dumpsters getting rid of his crap didn't pay me rent. I bent over backwards in order to make sure that him and his family can get into another house. I see his truck. And I see the two day laborers working, working their butt off like usual, laying down mulch, pulling weeds and stuff like that. And as I go up, I see the tenant. You know what he's doing? He's sitting in a lounge chair, watching the day laborers work. <laughs> you know, you can't make this stuff up. Like lounging back, like I'm the man. Gonna watch these guys work for me. If I ever laugh or, or, or smile or something like that, please don't take it as an indication that I'm a, a passing judgment or something like that. Sometimes I laugh or, or I smile because I can't wrap my head around it. I can't wrap my head around it. To be sitting in a lounge chair while these guys are working and you're not working alongside of them. What do they say? The best revenge is living a good life. So, with the way that he left my house, and now seeing him today doing that, I got a mixed feeling of sympathy, compassion, sadness for him, and that the frame of mind that he's in, I don't know, how do you describe that? Anyway, if Dave, you come over and work again over here, I'm gonna work even harder. I might go out and get you coffee more than once and then sing your praise for all the work you do over here. All right, so deep thoughts with Harry. I'm suggesting that you feel better if you put a good day's worth of work in. I'll let you know how the inspection goes.